Halo 3 has a bit of a hit detection issue, and what 343 is planning to do to fix that issue in the MCC. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it helps more people with a chance to see this video to get a chance to stay up to date with everything going on with this awesome franchise we like to play. And also don't forget to subscribe as we ramp up our way to Halo Infinite to keep yourselves up to date with everything going on with that game. So let's get right into the content here. So it's been known for a while that Halo 3's hit detection on MCC isn't exactly the same experience that we had on the 360, and there's multiple reasons why. Jumping from 30 frames to 60 frames, jumping from a peer-to-peer -peer connection to dedicated servers, jumping from your hertz as in the tick rate, jumping from 30 hertz, which we had back in the 360 day, to 60 hertz in current day dedicated servers, there's gonna be some differences. And looks like 343 is trying to address those issues to have Halo 3's hit detection on the MCC line up more with the legacy experience that we had on the 360 days of Halo 3. This was really brought to my attention at first uh, from a Tommy Cost video, which by the way, we'll be referencing three different videos in this video. So if you wanna check out those individually, make sure to check out the links in the description down below for the sources. Tommy Costa's video kind of goes into showcasing this difference of how on the MCC, it's far less forgiving when it comes to hitting your shots in Halo 3 compared to Legacy Halo 3 on the 360. A big change of why is because of the previous Halo 3 on the 360 ran on 30 hertz, which means th this happens 30 times a second. The server or game connection checks the information, what's hitting, what's registering, what's moving around in the environments and things like that. It does a status update 30 times a second. Well, in the MCC, it does that status update 60 times a second to match with the frame rate that we're seeing. 60 hertz is kind of the gold standard now when it comes to tick rate, when it comes to dedicated servers. So there have been multiple ways to look into trying to bring back that legacy feel of Halo 3 on the 360 while also having the nice updated versions that we have currently on the MCC. One of the proposed changes that got a lot of traction was bumping up the bullet velocity, which if you guys don't know, the bullet velocity velocity of the battle rifle in Halo 3 moves at 180 world units per second. They don't use meters or feet or anything like that because it has its own kind of environment when it comes to measurements. And as you can see, running at 180 world units per second for the velocity is that you can have a red reticle range with a red dot on that red reticle to show that you're aiming for the head and the shots will just not connect. Though if you bump up that bullet velocity and kind of keep the same aiming mechanics, then the shot tend to register. Another suggestion I heard was actually just bumping down the server tick rate down to 30, which I would not agree with is because having 60 hertz is a much smoother experience. So one of the things that 343 is looking to do is that they mentioned in the previous July development update for the MCC showcasing bullet velocity. Now this is like an 18 minute long informational video, not meant to entertain at least a little bit. I'm trying to do that a little bit with this video. And essentially what happened was that the legacy version of Halo 3 on the 360, which ran at 30 hertz with 180 world units per second when it comes to bullet velocity, per tick, that means 1 30th of a second, the bullet would travel six world units. And then once you go to the MCC version at 60 hertz, it obviously doubling that hertz number, that means each tick, there's twice as many, meaning that it would travel three world units per tick. So this discrepancy in distance is what kind of led to the hit detection in the MCC feeling, well, less favorable compared to the legacy version. And so what 343 is planning to do is actually bump up that world unit traveling on the 60 hertz servers from three world units per tick to six world units per tick. And in the video that 343 posted in the July development update, it did show that the hit detection was much better. But though this does make me wonder, does this mean that they essentially have doubled the bullet velocity in Halo 3? Does this mean that you have to lead your shots less? Does this essentially make Halo 3 hit scan? I wouldn't go that far, but essentially what you're doing is taking the bullet velocity, I feel, from 
180 to 360, which in this bullet velocity test that we had from our previous members in the community, they went up to 300 and you can see the significant difference right there. Uh, but that's what makes me worry that less, essentially the aiming mechanics and feel of the game is going to drastically change. That's my big concern. Though it does look like hit detection does seem to be a lot better with a higher bullet velocity. Again, I do want to clarify that 343 is not changing the bullet velocity of the traveling of the bullets is what they're doing is they're changing the distance that those bullets travel per tick which effectively gives it the feel of twice the speed of a bullet velocity that we have currently in the mcc personally i've always had a bit of an issue with the bullet velocity in halo 3 i've always liked halo 2s which was much faster though i do like it how you have to lead your shots in the game i still think it's a very important mechanic that you need to make sure that you do correctly this is something that will certainly need to be flighted before they actually release. And 343 did hint that they were looking to do a mid-flight patch for the ODST flight with some Halo 3 content. I'm assuming we'll be trying out this different kind of world unit distance traveling when it comes to the Halo 3 battle rifle. So at the moment, personally, I'm actually looking forward to this, but it just has my concerns that it would change the feel of the game drastically. That it would be almost like laser beam battle rifles. That's just my concern though. It could play out completely different. Now changing bullet velocity, world unit traveling in 4v4 game modes isn't really that big of an issue as since the battles are so close range for the most part, yeah, there are some long range shots like on narrows or something like that. But for the most part, it's rather close range. You won't really notice it too much, though it would really show its change when it comes to playing big team battle and large skill modes. So many maps heavily rely on the fact you have to lead your shots and that random bolt spread with the Halo 3 battle rifle for some maps to function. I think standoff comes to my mind right off the bat when it comes to maps that function terribly with like hit scan weaponry which we've seen with like halo 5 with the try bringing that in it doesn't really play out so well but when you do it in halo 3 it actually works a similar situation with the same map compared to halo 3 and halo 4 with halo 3 projectiles with a battle rifle on say a map like valhalla it works out really well becomes a fan favorite though when they brought that map back into halo 4 but had hit scan weaponry it's so hard to move throughout that map. It just becomes very campy, standoffish, and you know, people are more just kind of hiding behind rocks, picking heads, rather than actually playing the game, moving throughout the map to try to gain map control. This is something we definitely would need the flight. So if you, they do end up flighting this in the ODST flight, which sounds like they might be doing something similar with Halo 3 content, I definitely will be bringing that up in another video, guys, for you guys to watch out. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on changing the world unit distance traveling per tick. Are you worried about it, kind of like I am? Or are you looking forward to something like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. i got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.